All right, how's it going, guys? Nazar here. Um, I was on my way somewhere to New Jersey, and I noticed this Barnes and Noble with its doors wide open and giant, giant signs that say, "We're open." <laughs> So it's been a very long time since I've been to Barnes and Noble. So I'm gonna go in there and check it out. And uh, if you're interested and wanna check out what's inside of uh, Barnes and Noble right now, join me. If this is something that doesn't interest you, don't watch. <laughs> but yeah, those of you that wanna come along with me inside of this Barnes and Noble, uh, let's go. There we go. Look at these wonderful signs. Okay, guys, <clears throat> thank you for joining me. So I'm in here, um, just going to be doing all of this voiceover once again. I'm probably going to mention that a few times. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I tried to uh, just kind of leave the audio I had in here. But unfortunately, it's just too much music, too much uh, like just weird sounds in the store and whatever. So a lot of this is just going to be me talking. And um just keep in mind, I'm just basically filming this, <clears throat> like I said uh, in the intro. <laughs> this is just me going to the store to kind of look through stuff, window shop for the most part. I will buy two things and walk out of here with two things, but just wanted to see what they got. And, uh, you know, you are welcome to join me here. So I'm going to look at everything, at books, at toys, at magazines, whatever. So um, I'm going to try to... Uh, slow the camera down and not be too fidgety kind of take my time and hopefully the video is good so stick around guys just going to be looking for a lot of awesome stuff and i'm going to find some cool things hopefully you guys will want to go to barnes and noble after this but I, I really love going here all right let's see let's see let's see yeah just honestly not much to show here i was just really impressed with the fact that they had the power rangers uh, shogun Megazord, so that was really cool. Uh, let's see, yeah, some posters. Pick up the camera, Nas. <laughs> I'm actually gonna film a lot better as this goes on because I noticed that no one really minded me being there, so it was cool. So many cute things. <laughs> So this was really cool. I can't believe by the uh, like the amount of cards, the card decks that they had. Um, I've never seen this many at Barnes and Noble. Like I was on a card flip uh, kick for a while, and um, I remember looking for for them in regular stores, and I could only find like maybe five different decks, mostly bicycle at like you know pharmacies and stuff, but like or Walmart. Um, but yeah, the amount of different brands they have here and different styles and designs like really blew me away there's some like different dice and stuff down there too but uh yeah this reminded me of uh chris ramsey on youtube he has a channel i think it's called chris ramsey i don't know but he's a magician and uh he also collects cards card decks and stuff and he also does uh puzzles which i'll, I'll actually show you more of those puzzles in, in a second but um yeah you'll see it's um <clears throat> So he does all, all sorts of things like that. So because of him, I, I'm really like, I was like, oh man, all these card decks are amazing. But uh, check out his thing, I guess. Uh, he makes his own card decks too. They're called First, like Number One and uh, ST. That's his brand, I guess. So I really like this Voyager one. But yeah, I guess they're just stocking up with all these things people can do together, you know, without electricity. Uh, oh man, this really bugged me, the Stalin book. I'm glad that it says Man of, of Steel or Mass Murderer. Definitely Mass Murderer. Uh, at least 20 million Ukrainians uh, by by um, fake, what do you call it? Uh, fam famine? Yeah, basically fake famine in 1933. Almost wiped, up, wiped out all of the Ukrainians. Anyway... Some philosophers, I was saying that I really need to read uh, the book of uh, Art of War again. So right now there's really no one in the store, so I'm really, really enjoying myself. Um, yeah, all you see is just uh, people that work, their employees, everyone's wearing masks. 
These minis are awesome. That was just me saying, like, yep, this is what I look like. <laughs> By the way, I'm glad I'm doing this as voiceover because it's so hard to talk with that thing. Like, the whole time I was talking, it sounded like this, you know? So, like, imagine that. I mean, you'll, you'll hear that. <laughs> Sorry. You'll hear some of that because I keep going in and out, so... Uh, sometimes when there's no music, I just kind of let it let it fly, let you enjoy the store sounds and stuff. But yeah, man, I I, I love all this Totoro stuff, all this Studio Chibli stuff. It's all so expensive, though. Um, definitely gonna be thinking about picking up one of them uh, uh, jigsaw puzzles. I think it's the next shelf down. Yeah, that one right there. No, no, it's the one where they're all like chilling on Totoro's belly. I'll get to it, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that little like 3D paper collage thing, that was cool, right up my alley too. Love all those little like yeah, chocolate little nut. <laughs> There's that paper theater thing, really cool. 18 bucks though, Ooh. there it is, that's the one I want. Oh yeah, let's see what I'm saying. Maggie wanted to do a puzzle the other day. We got really disappointed because it wasn't like in pieces. You know, I think I might get that. <sighs> Alright, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so I just really, really like the covers on these. Someone just laid these out, so I figured what the heck. Ah, oh, dang pops. So many colors. <laughs> no. You guys still collecting pops? Let me know in the comments, I guess. Or do you see anything that's rare here? Because I don't even know anymore. I'm so out of the loop on this. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I remember that Pikachu was rare. Yay, Bruni! <laughs> Alright. That's enough of that. That's about it. Okay, so... Let's see. I think I'm gonna go head over to the philosophy department. Check out what they got. Maybe some new books. There we go. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you a little bit. Um, I was talking a little bit about different things here, but honestly, I was just kind of pointing out um, some of my favorite philosophers and some of these books that are new, like this one right there. Um, it's just uh, different things that I've been into a lot lately, just uh, trying to discover things, trying to learn things about, you know, the world the universe, you know, life and everything. So it, it's been really a lot of fun trying to uh, read some of these and uh, ponder about things. So yeah, lately I've been really into Seneca. Oh yeah, <laughs> Seneca, there you go. How to die. Uh, I need to pick this book up because that looked interesting. Uh, right now I think I only have like uh, s something, I don't remember the title, but I have uh, one, one book of Seneca. I think it's his uh, essays or something. Um, and... Uh, uh, Marcus Aurelius book. Uh, I have a, a bunch of other books that uh, some I read and some are still I'm waiting to read. So I'm not buying any books until I finish those. I feel like that's a good way of being. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this was on the other side of the philosophy stuff. <laughs> so I figured, hey, why not? So I went in here. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens here, I guess. I know Maggie's going to be totally psyched about all this Harry Potter stuff. She's still a fan, actually. Like, it's been a while. It's one of those uh, properties that she's still into. Uh, I was enjoying... I really love all these, like... This whole setup they have in the corner for videos, DVDs. It just reminds me of the old rental stores. <laughs> like, all these new arrivals, new releases, special releases. Like, I love that. The best sellers. Like, that was just so cool. Uh, Barnes & Noble's killing it, man. I hope that they're doing well financially, to be honest with you. 
but yeah, it's just an experience, man. I love Barnes and Noble, dude. Like, not sponsored, but I, I, that would be amazing if I was <laughs> sponsored by Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Get your nostalgia. But anyway, yeah, it was really cool looking through all these. Like, some of these movies, though, man, 50 bucks. Uh, I was like, I mean, it's worth it because I'm sure there's, like, special features and they're digitized transfers and cleaned up and remastered. So, but yeah, just can't afford any of that right now. Mm. Oh, man. Rambo! This was really cool. Little Kiss albums. But yeah, I was actually really surprised by the amount of uh, records, vinyl, they have. Really kind of wanted to go through everything, but I was like, ah. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually uh, in the market for a record player. Like, nothing digital, just a, some crappy old school one that connects to, to some good speakers. Uh, the reason why I'm looking through D is because I'm always on the lookout for the doors, so nothing doors. Which I I have the digital whatever reprint uh, from one of these stores. Uh, Maggie's mom hooked me up for one of my birthdays, I think. So I have an American Prayer by Jim Morrison and the Doors. Really awesome record. It's like mostly Jim Morrison reading his poetry and then the Doors uh, kind of played some music behind it after his death and stuff so <sighs> but anywho yeah just kind of flipped through some of these just to kind of check it out just since all this lockdown stuff this was just a treat and a pleasure just to flip through all this and the fact that there was like no one around like in a, in a a little bit there's people gonna start coming in by the time I left there was like a bunch of people in there but um, still for about for now while I'm still filming this there was like maybe two other people in there so it was kind of cool just their music was way too loud and it kind of sucks because uh, you know I kind of like documenting so I love filming stuff with the actual amb ambiance so um, whatever I'll leave a lot of the other audio on, it's just this was really loud because the speakers were like all up on top of me. This was the corner of the store. Playmobil! I really want to see that movie by the way. I'll buy that when it's cheaper. That would have been sweet, but yeah, not for not for 80 bucks. Although, that's probably a fair price. It's complete. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get to it, but <clears throat> one of my favorite movies, American Graffiti. Um, on the other side, uh, I'll get to it in the end, but there's like a whole row of nothing but Funko Pops, which is visually crazy. It's just like a whole one of these, just like what you're looking at now, from end to the other end, all just pops, pops. So stick around for that. I love Idiocracy. I recently bought a copy of that in the Goodwill. For two bucks. <laughs> I'm basically just picking up the movies I like, like honestly. Again, I wasn't necessarily shopping for anything. I was just looking at stuff. Just miss doing this, you know? I don't necessarily do like hunting in stores videos. I, I do, but it's not like what I usually do. Usually it's flea market videos, but, uh, yeah, this is just, you know, sometimes it's fun to make these. Again, I, I like watching some other people make these, you know, especially, like, a couple, of, I'm not gonna keep giving shoutouts, but, you know, there's a couple of YouTubers in Japan I watch, there's a couple of YouTubes in, uh, YouTube, YouTubers in, like, uh, UK, there's a couple of YouTubers in Australia, like, I, I like people from all around the world, and I love when they make little videos like this, so that you can kind of get a little glimpse into stuff, you know, in their country, uh, like stores and things, so. Try to, you know, film just like this, like, no one really turns around to take a look more. Just kind of wanted to show that the mall is closed. <laughs> Zombie town. But yeah.
what I'm trying to say is I like out and about videos. <laughs> oh yeah, Voyager, that was awesome. So yeah, um, I went uh, you know to the corner with all the magazines, and it's 25 years of Voyager, which is amazing. I have this magazine right next to me, actually. But uh, yeah, I got that, and I got um, one of those magazines uh, for Maggie of uh, Outlander. So I'll pick two of those up. Oh yeah, the security guard. <laughs> I thought he was gonna walk by on the other side. I wanted to like ambush him with the camera, <laughs> but by the time I turned around, he was already gone. Ah, I miss Supernatural, one of my favorite shows. Um, guys, let me know. Those of you that are actually watching this and listening to me talk <laughs> right now, um, let me know if you like this format of me just going places and this being kind of like a POV. And then me doing a little bit of voiceover. That's the magazine I got for Maggie, by the way. Uh, with, um, no. There's three covers, by the way. There you go. So I got her the one of them, like, close up. I think that's the one. Yeah, the one in the middle. That's the one she wanted. I texted her a picture. I was like, which one do you want? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying... Let me know, guys, if you're if you're enjoying this. I can make more videos like these because probably not going to be going to too many flea markets. Although I'm going to one tomorrow uh, just to sell some stuff that I have extra stuff. Um, not making it a habit again, but um, let me know if you like videos like this of just me going and you coming along with me somewhere, and then I'll do a little voiceover thing. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. I just, I love magazines, man. Ever since a kid, like, every time I look at these magazine racks, it's just nostalgia overload. Just all the sections and different things. Like, you're into this stuff, you you know, you look at these magazines, you're into, like, electronics, you're into muscles or ca cars or guns or whatever, you know? Like, it's just cool. Magazines are awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this I came back into that section with all the music um, to show you the pops. Because uh, when I, I left because there was like three or four people looking through their uh, $4 CDs. So, which is a damn good deal actually, if you find good CDs in there. But uh, yeah, look at this freaking crazy pop wall. <laughs> oh, there we go, four ninety nine. yeah. Not bad at all. I wasn't gonna spend half a day looking through CDs, though. But yeah, again, uh, those of you that watch my stuff often, uh, you know that I keep preaching that I'm done with Pops, and I am done with Pops. Um, I think here I was even talking about the same thing, I don't remember. But um, I... I still love Pops, they're beautiful, like looking at all these I'm like this is amazing and I love seeing these collections in people's homes, like they're beautiful little pieces. Um, but I, I can't like, it's it's impossible, it's like drugs, it's impossible to like just have a couple of these, like, you know, like I want that, you know, I want that little creature and then I want him too and I want that and because, you know, and now they're making them better with more better sculpts and better paints, you know, like Pops are becoming even better now. But I, I just can't live in a room where every wall inside of that room is going to be covered with these because I love all of them, you know, so I kind of had to, uh, Maggie I think has 20 right now or 30 and I have about five, five or eight, five to eight Pops that are mine. This freaked me out, Betsy Ross. <laughs> I kind of almost want to get that and go to the Betsy Ross house in Philly and get like one of the cosplayers to sign it for me and take a picture. <laughs> Let me know if you think that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> that, that would be a great video. Hey, sign my Betsy Ross pop, please, Betsy Ross. She's like, oh, what is this? Because she has to stay in character, like, you know, to to the time period. <coughs> Excuse me. Any hoozles, guys. Um, yeah. So yeah, lo look at all these pops, man. I still appreciate them. Piccolo is my favorite character, by the way, from Dragon Ball Z. Like, I, if I was still collecting pops, I would have totally picked that up. 
If I was still collecting pops, I'd be walking out of this Barnes and Noble probably with ten pops right now. And that was that's the problem. Like there's too many. Too many. It's so sad. I think I have a couple of Back to the Future ones that I saved. Uh I still have um uh what did I pre order? Maggie pre ordered for me the clock tower from Back to the Future. It comes with a little Doc Brown and stuff like that. Oh, look how cute that is. I love that one. But yeah, uh, she pre ordered that for me, which is cool because I have a Back to the Future collection. So, like, in moderation, you know, <laughs> I guess just like any drugs or alcohol or whatever, in a little bit of moderation, it's okay. But um, that's why I'll only have some for Back to the Future. I have like The Rocketeer, I have some Jane Silent Bob you know, Conan, uh, Coco, you know, Team Conan, um, Stitch, Fox, and Scully, you know, Mulder, and Dana Scully, um, yeah, I, I have, that's about it for me, really, I have some Dragon, uh, Dragon Zord, you know, different ones, anyway, I'm not gonna keep listing everything, that's pretty much all I have now, Niffler, so yeah, um, I'm just mumbling, because it's kind of hard to fill space, Again, uh, I <laughs> freaking love this store, man. Uh, one big problem I noticed because I was wearing, um, what do you call it, a handkerchief? I couldn't smell that Barnes & Noble smell, which is, it's almost like one of the most important things <laughs> to have when you go there. Like when those doors open and you smell the books, it's like, yes, you know, but now it's impossible. So it was kind of weird uh, based on that. Um, let's see, what am I looking at here? Oh yeah, BTS. So this is a Korean pop uh, band uh, that Maggie's into nowadays. Uh, her friend Amanda got her into these. <laughs> into the band. They actually went and saw them together. It was crazy. But uh, yeah, Maggie's trying to pick one up, one up of these for, for Amanda. Sorry, I'm having difficulty speaking. So yeah, they're only 20 bucks, so. Although, down on the bottom, there's a couple that are, like, in special boxes, and they're, like, 50 or $60. Yeah, those things. So, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which one uh, Amanda likes the most, so I wasn't gonna pick it up. But me and Maggie have a plan to go back to Barnes & Noble. Uh, probably... I don't know, uh, probably a weekday. Just I really enjoy going there when there's no one there. So, these socks were cute. I was all about those pizza ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna pop off. Let's see if there's too much noise in the store. Maybe I'm talking about some nonsense now, too. I wonder if they have Evangelion here. I'm gonna check. Hold on. Attack on Titan. Teenage Horny Maker books. Let's see. B Stars. That's really cool looking art style. Let's see. E E E A B C D E F G. Honestly, just straight up just admiring the art. It's not every day I actually take time to walk through the like the manga section and look at these things, you know? But yeah, definitely no no Evangelion. Um, books, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh. Ghost in the show, whoop whoop. 
Okay, just uh, real quick, gonna check out the Marvel section with all the, the graphic novels and such things. Again, like, pretty much all of this section is out of my price range, at least the top shelves anyway. But, uh, yeah, what an amazing section. So much, so many amazing stories here. Oh. Looks like a little bit of manga spilled over to this section. <laughs> I should have looked more in there, maybe, maybe, uh, they put Evangelion back there. So many puzzles here. Can't wait to come here with Maggie. I really want to get that Totoro one, but that would be cool. That's cool. She probably wants that. Oh man, that would be amazing actually. It's not an easy looking puzzle. <laughs> Alright, again, just puzzles. That was really cool. Kind of, it's Trivial Pursuit in the 80s, but it kind of threw me off because it was for uh, Stranger Things. So I was like, oh, did they really have to tag that onto that? But whatever. Um, just enjoying all the dang packaging and advertising. and It's just all so awesome. So many amazing artists out there. Some good stuff. Hey man, sometimes, you know, window shopping's all you need. Although, I am gonna walk out of here with two items, so... Stick around! <laughs> yeah, I'm also, uh, just, uh, what do you call it? Voicing over right now, because it was next to the Starbucks area. So there was music and a whole bunch of kids, so... Just like, oh, I'm just gonna voice over this. Did you need help with something today? Really, all of this is just for, for your eyes anyway. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I love this. Some cool puzzles to get. A lot of stuff to occupy, occupy your time since the reopening, for obvious reasons. Alright, so yeah, the puzzles, really cool. Love that there's so many. But uh, the amount of people was starting to rise though, I gotta tell you that. That's... Uh. <sighs> Love the puzzles. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, they just kept going and going, my god. So many puzzles. So many things, jigsaws, whatever. Can't wait to come back with a couple more bucks in my pocket. Just the toys and games section real quick for you guys. I don't want to hang out here too long. Ooh, Maggie loves Lost Kitties. Oh man. I don't know, I don't know, that's tempting. I usually get her these big cartons. <sighs> like 20 bucks. Look at all these Legos. Wow. Man, I am so tempted to start collecting Legos. I really shouldn't, though. Now, I want to 
to see the Playmobil section. There they are. Love me some Playmobil, guys. So cool. Oh, that's the uh, the bike thing they use in the Slimer Ghostbusters Playmobil set. School bus. Oh man, if I ever get kids, they're getting all this stuff. I love the space stuff too. Especially that. <sighs> Alright, that's enough. I'm gonna get out of the kids section with my camera here. <laughs> okay guys, um, yeah that's it. Uh, done with the Barnes & Noble. It was, I really enjoyed the crap out of doing that. Um, really nice people that worked there. Everyone was helpful. No one gave me any crap about filming in there. I mean, technically I'm giving them a, an advertisement. Uh, but yeah, I picked up two magazines. A little pricey <laughs> for magazines these days, but got the 25th anniversary Star Trek Voyager. Star Trek Voyager is my absolute favorite, favorite freaking show, uh, Star Trek wise. So when I saw that on the shelf, I was like, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Um, and for Maggie, I got the Outlander. There were three different things, but uh, she, I texted her a picture and she liked this cover the most. So hopefully she'll enjoy her Outlander stuff. So yeah, that's it. Uh, all right, guys, there's some folks walking around. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, today is Saturday. I was actually on my way to go to the flea market, but um, I went to Barnes & Noble because I had to use the facilities and uh, <laughs> uh, kind of got sidetracked. Started looking through books, magazines, uh, all sorts of amazing toys that they have and I mean they're stocked up with everything. I don't know if it's like first day they're open or what, but um, you know, as you can see the, the door is wide open and it says we're open, come in. So, um, but yeah. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go to the flea market because it's humid as hell. So I'm just gonna turn around and bite the bullet and go to Columbus Farmer's Market tomorrow on Sunday. Today I was going to Berlin Farmer's Market or Berlin Flea Market, which is um, in Berlin, New Jersey. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit closer uh, to my house. So, but yeah. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, be done with this. I don't have any freaking sanitizing wipes in this car. Damn it. Well, let's hope I didn't make a huge mistake today by going into Barnes & Noble. <laughs> but anyway, alright, that's it. Two magazines, Barnes & Noble stocked full of amazing puzzles, amazing books, stuff you need for the quarantine or whatever to pass your time. So, um, man, if I had a couple extra bucks, I'd get a couple of puzzles, uh, I'd get a couple of books. Books are just so expensive, man. Like, some of the books are like $30, like, I mean, I got two of these magazines and uh, the total was like 20, let's see, total was freaking 20, $28, like 28 bucks for two magazines? That's insane! So, yeah, um, 28 bucks, oh, okay, $12.99 for Maggie's magazine, and mine's twelve. dollars so $13 each, that's, ugh, anyway, but yeah. That's why no one buys magazines anymore. Jesus. It used to be like $3.99. Alright. Um, yeah. I just don't know any what else to say. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on a uh, Barnes & Noble trip. Uh, I'm gonna go home and uh, cool off. Because today is just not a good day to be outside. God, it's hot. Alright, everybody. Live long and prosper. Bye! So these guys are doing a little bit of a shady... Shady tire deal in the parking lot here. Shady, shady, shady. Alright, if you haven't guessed, I'm at Target. Cigarette pop in, it was on the way. I need a couple of uh, art supplies, so. Let's, uh, let's do some toy hunting while we're here, right? Let's do it! Oh yeah! Alright, not much here. We got your Genesis. You got your DBZ, Fortnite. Game Boy looking things. Let's see. 
what do we have in the new amiibo department? Alright, we have Piranha Plant. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Get out of here. Still have this guy. What is the Squirtle or whatever? Ivysaur. I really like this one, but definitely passing on that. All right, Piranha Plant's looking good. Let's see. All right, checking up some pops again. I hope those of you watching are enjoying this because I am definitely not a pop guy as I keep saying this, even though I love them so much, but that's why I filmed them because I have like an excuse, I guess, to look at them because I'm filming them for my YouTube channel. Let's, I'll, I'll stick to that, yeah. Oh, over here I was kind of like, uh, this one's cool by the way, that's just a cool sculpt. I love that. Like that's beyond pop. Come on, look at that. But anyway, this thing right here, isn't that, isn't that a Babu Frick? What, like, I'm really, con it says Rio Durant or whatever, but I... It looks like it's Babu Frick when he was like, Hello, I am Babu Frick, whatever. How am I so mistaken? What the, what does Babu Frick look like? Anyway. <laughs> Yay, Rogue. Love me some Rogue. Especially from the animated series. That was the stuffs, y'all. <sighs> so cool. They're getting... Okay, so. There was a lady stocking shelf. She had this Trini. I was hoping she had the Slayer, the Ranger Slayer, uh, Pink Ranger. So one of these goes in the box along with like six other or seven other freaking things. But um, I'm gonna pick her up to resell because I got mine from my boy Leland. So I'm gonna ask him if he wants me to sell this to him or I don't know, we'll see. But look at this. So like, Evangelion. This is a card game. Shinji Ikari and Rei Ayami set. Chrono Clash. Well, unfortunately, it's just a card game, and I'm not into those. But that box art looks good. It looks good, son. Wow. If anything, at least you get a bunch of cards with awesome artwork on them. But yeah, I actually just got something from uh, Tokyo Toy Bastard. He's a, a YouTube channel on a YouTube channel on YouTube. He's a uh, on YouTube, and um, man, uh, he lives in Tokyo, Japan. So he's like the only one I can get Evangelion stuff from, other than like eBay or whatever. But at least from him, I can get it a little cheap. So, but yeah, all right. But yeah, the reason why I brought up uh, him is because he's gonna send me some amazing stuff from uh, Japan, from Tokyo. Just picked up some Evangelion, um, you'll see, it's like a half train, half Eva one, pretty much answers your question, but I'm gonna do a video as soon as he sends that. Uh, okay, so I'm still looking for, what do you call them? <sighs> having a brain fart. Oh yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles party wagon. But uh... That shit's not here. Sorry. I know you're all disappointed heavily. Meh. Huh, oh, it's kind of a good looking set. I'm digging that lotus over there. That's cool. Okay, nothing here. No DeLoreans. I've seen people straight up steal the DeLoreans out of the boxes in here. It's crazy. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna crop dust this aisle and I'm gonna get out of here crop dusting and process but yeah this is all they had in the box 
Just these guys. I'm so happy I got that. Alright, I'm gonna text Leland and see if he wants this. If not, I'll, I actually might leave it here. So, we'll see. Okay, guys. So, that's it as far as uh, Target goes. Sorry, I went to a couple of stores today. But all I got was some coffee, some uh, milk, some bagels, and uh, something else over there. Uh, I ended up putting back the um, Trini, the Yellow Ranger. Um, I actually reached Leland. We went back and forth a little bit. He's he's all good. He has enough for trades and stuff. But uh, <clears throat> he suggested that I pick it up and uh, you know just save it for trading for something in the future. But to be honest with you, um, I'm okay. Uh, I'd rather just leave it there. Hopefully, not a scalper, but some collector will pick it up today for a legitimate price. Uh, but yeah, I left it alone. Uh, I don't really want to deal with that. I mean, yeah, it might help me in some trade somewhere down the line, but these figures aren't really going to get a higher value than like 30 bucks, you know, at the very most. So it's not really worth like holding on to it and seeing what I can do with it. So yeah, just ended up picking up the stuff I needed for the house, like making coffee and bagels. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the... Uh, the hunt I guess I don't know we'll see it's probably gonna be like a two-minute video <laughs> uh, all right guys thanks for watching um, I hope you're appreciating me turning on the camera while I go shop uh, I don't know some people enjoy these I watch other people uh, do these videos as well sometimes they don't even buy anything it's just fun uh, following someone into a store <laughs> especially for people that don't go to stores who are socially distancing and not going out of their house so uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Live long and prosper and all that.